Day. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gathering of believers. We ask that as we are about to study your word, you grant us insight, understanding, and revelation and knowledge of you. In Jesus' almighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So, our topic for today is a gentle reminder. Again, our topic for today is a gentle reminder. I hope we have our Bibles and our manuals. Again, our Bible and our manual. Yes, so our text is taken from Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 3 to 21. Again, Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 3 down to 21. Are you there? Yes, let's read. And it says, Praise be to the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us the new birth into the living hope through his resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for us, for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last times. In all this, you all greatly rejoice, though for now, a little while, you may have had little sufferings in all kinds of trials. Concerning this salvation, the prophet who spoke of the grace that was come to you Search intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstance to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of the Messiah and the glory that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you when they spoke of the things that have now been told you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels look into these things. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace we brought to you when Christ Jesus is revealed at his coming. Be as obedient children. Do not conform to the evil desires you had when you have lived in ignorance, but just as he has called you is holy, so be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy because I am holy. For you know that it is not with pressure in such as silver or gold that you are redeemed from the empty way of life handed out to you by ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in this lifetime last times for your sake. Through him, you believe in God, who raised him up from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like I said, our text was taken from First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 21. Like our topic said, our topic for today is a gentle reminder. So what is this a reminder? A reminder is anything that reminds you of something. I know it may sound tricky, right? So anything that reminds you of something is called a reminder. So the Bible, therefore, is a book that teaches us about God and gives us ways in which we can learn about Him. And these ways were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Like I say, the Bible is a book of books. It's a book that contains different books. And these different books point 
to things that we should learn and also the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, a reminder is something that reminds you of things. So let's go into the lesson. So from the passage you read, there are two major lessons in which you can bring out from them. Lesson number one is to put on the divine nature of God. That is, we learn to put on the divine nature of God by studying the word of God and also fellowshipping with other believers. It is when it is in the study of the word of God that we, we gain more knowledge on who God is. We get to learn more about God and know more about his commandments and what we should do and what we should not do. And also, it's in this process that we learn to also fellowship with other believers, which the Bible clearly instructs us to do because it is for our building. It helps us grow as believers. Lesson number two, that Jesus will appear suddenly. That is, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is an interesting thing and we should not be scared about it and we should be fully prepared for it. So how can we be fully prepared for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? By being obedient, by being truthful, by staying in the faith, by living a godly life. In these ways, we can learn to prepare for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, you can do these things by keeping your faith, by being obedient, by being respectful, by living a godly life. I hope you've learned something today. Let's go over the lesson. Don't forget lesson number one. If you put on the divine nature of God. Lesson number two. Jesus will appear suddenly. So I'll ask, is there anyone that has not given his or life to Christ? Let us just say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for what you did for me. I thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, I accept and fully believe in you. Lord, cleanse me from my sins. And allow me to be a partaker of this, your divine and wonderful family. Grant me the grace to be able to put in your divine nature and be fully prepared for the second coming. For in Jesus' almighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I will gladly welcome you to the lovely family of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, our memory verse. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Again, our memory verse is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. And it says, Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Christ Jesus is revealed at his second coming. Again, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. And it says, Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his second coming. I hope you learned one or two things today. Here is a brief recap of what we studied. Lesson number one is to put on the divine nature of God. And lesson number two, Jesus will appear suddenly. And our memory verse is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this study we've learned. Thank you for the grace to understand. We ask that you grant 